Hi there. This will be a brief introductory uh, video showing how to install the Trend Micro Worry Free Business Security client onto a workstation. To start off, we have um, we're at the workstation that we want to install the client onto, and we have Internet Explorer open. Although um, Firefox can work, Internet Explorer is definitely the easiest way to do this. The server end of Trend Micro's Worry Free Business Security has already been installed onto this network and is active on a server. So to install it on this workstation, we're going to start by visiting the Trend Micro page on the server. To access that, we're going to type in HTTPS colon slash slash server, which is the name of our server on the network, colon 4343, which designates the port that we're going to be accessing on the server, and then slash SMB. You'll see this security warning. Um, you can go ahead and just click on yes. It'll want to install an ActiveX control. This is totally safe to do. Okay, um, at this point we are all, we get this prompt for a password. Um, below that is cl uh, install client server security agent. We want to do that, so we'll click here. Again, it wants to install another ActiveX control, so we'll install, and then we'll click on install now. What will happen at this point is this computer will now go out over the internal network. It will download the um, installation program from the server along with all of the pre-configured settings. And once it's installed, it will be active, updated, and all set to go. This process does take a bit of time, so um, just keep an eye on this progress indicator in the bottom right corner of the screen and uh, be a little bit patient with it. Okay, so um, a few minutes into the process, I did pause the recording to, so that you weren't just staring at a blank screen. You will see this um, pop up. Again, just go ahead and click on Install. And then again, Install. And again, Install. And a last time, Install. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording again. This part um, just takes a few more minutes. All right, after that process completes, you get a message saying that the installation process has been completed. And as of right now, we still do not see the agent um, in the system tray, but now it's just popped up. So now you have this new icon down in the system tray, and this computer is now been 